Air tightness is a key way to improve a building's energy efficiency and reduce any unnecessary heat loss through the building fabric. Air tightness is crucial in passive houses as it will directly affect the building's ability to perform the way it has been designed. Air leakage can occur through holes, gaps and cracks in the building envelope in the building fabric. This will result in the use of more energy to maintain an internal temperature and reduce thermal comfort levels due to drafts within the building. It is therefore very important to make sure that any gaps or holes in the building fabric are sealed during the construction process. To go back and fix any issues once the building has been completed is very time consuming, costly and in many cases impossible. Any joints or areas where two to three components meet within a passive house are required to be sealed for air tightness. This is done via the use of air tightness tapes, foils and membranes. The purpose of this is to create one continuous air tightness layer. The best example of this is the pencil rule. We are looking at a building on a section elevation. You would be able to trace the air tightness layer all the way around the inside of the building without lifting the pencil from the paper. Once the building is air and water tight, a pressure test can be conducted. Here is an example of some of the equipment we use to test for air tightness within a passive house. An experienced technician will install the equipment within the doorway of a passive house building and then proceed to pressurise and depressurise the building for the purposes of the test. The result of this test will give us an indication as to the amount of air leakage that is present within the building fabric. This in turn will allow us to determine whether or not the building has achieved the required air tightness levels in order for us to issue the passive house certificate. If the building does not achieve required air tightness levels then we need to identify any issues that might be present, solve these issues and go back and retest the building again. The design and quality of construction will directly impact the amount of air leakage. If the SPHC is involved in the project from the beginning, we will be able to give specific advice on the correct types of products and materials that should be used. We also provide on-site training and toolbox talks to make sure that everybody involved in the project understands what's needed in terms of detailing on-site. If you want to know more about air tightness applications or air tightness design, please feel free to give us a call, to come down and visit the centre, or to have a look at our website.